On the 13th of September 1880, a British Cape Colony army of 212 soldiers led by Lieutenant Colonel Frederick Carrington crossed into Lesotho to enforce the controversial Peace Preservation Act passed in 1878, which demanded that Africans in the colony hand in all their guns for a compensation that was less than half of their real value. They were met by 300 heavily armed Basotho men led by the Crown Prince Morena Lerotodi, who inflicted a heavy defeat on their troops at Galaban. Under the leadership of Prince Lerotodi, the Basotho people fought fiercely to defend their land and their way of life against European influence, becoming one of the very few African nations to defeat the British colonial army in war. Today's video will provide an analysis of the major battles of the Basotho Gun War led by Morena Lerotodi that contributed to their victory. Before I begin, I'd like to provide a short background of the Basotho people. Basotho are the descendants of Barolong and Bafugeng. They have inhabited Lesotho since the 5th century. Basotho are also found in parts of South Africa and are known for their rich culture, language and traditional dress, which includes intricate blankets, hats and clothing made from animal hides. They have a history of resilience and resistance against colonialism and apartheid, and they have maintained their unique cultural identity. Agriculture and livestock farming are central to their economic livelihood. Now that we've established who Basotho are, we may continue. Brigadier General Charles Clark led the army assembled by the Cape administration. However, he made just two trips to the front lines while in command delegating the rest of his duties to General Major Cochrane and Carrington. Carrington was chosen as the Mafiteng region commandant and given command of a force that numbered roughly 2,000 soldiers. 400 members of the Cape Mounted Riflemen, 600 members of the Cape Mounted Yeomanry, 200 members of Kimberley Horse, as well as smaller groups of scouts and African levies made up its cavalry. Its infantry was made up of the Prince Alfred Volunteer Guards, Duke of Edinburgh's Volunteer Guards, and First City Volunteer Rifles, each with between 100 and 200 soldiers. The 200 CMR soldiers stationed in Maseru were being blocked by Lorotodi's uncle, Morena Masopa. In his initial raid on the town, he torched Maseru's most important structures, but subsequent assaults were less effective. Joel Mulapo launched a siege when his assault on Shotze in the north was also repelled. The Cape troops left the magistrates at Mohalus Hook and Guting. Basotiland saw more and more fighting on seven separate fronts as the revolt extended throughout the region. During the Battle of Kalabani, the Cape Mounted Yeomanry's advanced guard came under fire from the GOP. In addition to sending 200 members of the 1st Cape Mounted Yeomanry to flank the GOP from the left, Clark also gave the artillery the order to fire upon it. They were to dismount and create an open order formation, according to their leader, Captain Dalgetty. Before Dalgetty's group was able to reach the crest, Morena Seiso led an attack of 300 ex-wielding Basotho cavalrymen on the regiment. The Cape suffered 39 casualties. Colonel Brabant advanced towards Tabatweu on January 14, 1881, with a force consisting of two 7-pounder cannons, 400 armed burghers, 180 infantry and 380 cavalry. To occupy the Radiamari village, Brabant dispatched the burghers in advance. Following the destruction of Radiamari, the burghers disobeyed their orders and advanced towards Sipichile village, which was being held by 8,000 men under Morena Lerotodi. Lerotodi's warriors opened heavy fire from the surrounding ridges. Brabant sent 140 riders and the initial counterattack failed after it was outflanked from the right. The Cape troops then dismounted and cleared the plateau and surrounding ridges suffering 37 casualties. 
King Lizier maintained his formal allegiance to the Cape while secretly aiding the uprising by the seizing the land from British loyalists and accepting the head of Austin as a peace offering from the Transkyan leader Tlokwa. Oral tradition among the Basotho claimed that Morena Lizie, although secretly interacting with the rebel leaders and promoting the insurrection, deliberately developed the image of a feeble and stupid leader. Morena Lizie ordered Basotho loyalist leaders like Jonathan Mulapo to give up their guns so that the government could remain in place in the event that the rebels were victorious. Griffith remained faithful to Lizia throughout the war and blamed the conflict on his incapacity to control his deputies. Basotho were permitted to retain the arms on the condition that they pay an annual tax on each gun. However, Basotho refused to register their firearms and thus evaded the tax. That year, a Cape Army under General Charles Gordon was sent in, but it retired without achieving anything. The Cape Colony, faced with prospects of endless war, gave over responsibility for Basotoland directly to the British government in 1884. Basotoland became a British High Commission territory and the powers of the Sotho leaders were left intact. This change in status is why Basotoland was not included in the surrounding Union of South Africa when it was formed in 1910. Instead, the Sotho nation remained under British oversight until 1966 when it became the independent country of Lesotho. Ditoko tsa morena le rothodi. Sefako sa dinehelo la semata. Ritse ka re re a se hwella sefako sa hoba sa nka mebi ya masimo. Bokofa bo mora morebele. Bo ke a tseba ba he sura ba hloka. Jwa le dingaka ke tholo le ramahlulela. Re se thibile sa tlohela moshweshwe. 